Hope it's going good, guys. I'm out here with my with my EDCs, 84 FS Cheetah. Made it safe. This is a 2000s era vintage, well loved EDC gun, and uh, I don't know what uh, algorithms got me to pop, but my one video, I'll have a link in it, uh, short with it, uh, has about 14,000 views. Thank you very much who's ever seen that, and whoever future sees that and sees this video. Um, don't know how it got there, but yo, man, love you guys, and uh, thanks. So this is uh, just a little walk, show, and tell of my uh, well-loved 84FS Cheetah. And uh, she's uh, probably got about 5,000 rounds on range over the lifetime of this particular tool. And uh, nothing but uh, good love on this well-used EDC. One of the things I do know uh, about them is there's a Browning. I'm not sure the model right now while I'm doing this video. But uh, it, uh, it, its mags are compatible with this. Uh, and so I personally only buy OEM mags. And that's, it's only me. So I'll buy Beretta mags. And if I have a Sig Sauer, we'll say I would buy Sig Sauer mags, or maybe I, I'm only using that as an example, is because the uh, my Taurus G2s and the G3 run the Sig Sauer, I want to say 226 mags, and that's a 20 round mag. But my whole thing is that's an OEM mag for a, a particular gun that it comes with, not like a Macar or some other, other stuff like that. And it's nothing against them. I just, I've had a couple aftermarket mags, and they didn't do me any favors. So if if you run them, hey man, rock and roll. It's, it's all your preference. But I don't have the Browning, so I don't know if the, the Bredas are backwards compatible. But the Browning's definitely working here because I have them. They're 12 plus ones. And uh, and it, they run flawlessly in this little 84FS. And uh, this isn't um, a micro, but uh, it fits in my pocket nicely. Um, it's small enough that I can wear it in summer with like shorts and stuff like that. And it, it fits in the pockets nicely or wintertime deep concealment. And it, it can't tell. This, this isn't the best holster for, uh, you know, tension. But it definitely, uh, this is a Active Pro Gear uh, 16194. So it won't, if you're in the bathroom, you better know what's going on with your tool. Because it doesn't, it doesn't retain, retain it. But I know what I'm dealing with. And it works for what I need to do with this, this uh, tool here, this Beretta. But, uh, yeah, so this is just, like I said, a little walkthrough. A little walkthrough on a great, great EDC. One of my, one of my EDCs that I, I love. Uh, again, <laughs> well used, well cared for, great frickin' sender. Some of the, some of the stuff I see, I've seen some videos with, uh, with some of these cheetahs with, like, wood grips. Man, I love wood grips. I just don't have them. I will never... You know, I might might get them, but I haven't changed nothing on this particular gun. And, uh, you know, and then some of the new, all the newer stuff, you know, modern, you know, the upgrade, upgrade level up guns, they got like red dot ready. This, I probably could punch the rear sight out and do it if I wanted to. I won't. This gun will stay the way it is. Just keep running rounds on it. Get some more mags to have. Can never have enough mags. And just keep practicing. Get Mama to do some sending with it and all the crew. And, uh, you know, you got to train with your EDCs. Hopefully we never need them. You know, so today I'll run outside and pop a couple off uh, down rain, see how the shooting is. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it's as good as that short because I was southpawing that day. And, you know, stars and moon were lying. Even a blind squirrel can get a, find a nut once in a while because I did pretty well in that particular video. But uh, most of my time, my shooting sucks. <laughs> but uh, the uh, Steelies, never had any issues running through here where, the, where my Taurus is. They seem to not, uh, mine particularly don't like steel. So, you know, this, this thing runs whatever you shoot. Only problems I've ever had if the actual round did not fire, you know, issues with it. Try to rotate it on the primer and, uh, you know, for range ammo and can't, still can't get to shoot, put another round there, bang, you know, it goes pop when I pull the trigger. So, but again, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, if you are, were looking at them, you could find them. I know they're tough to come by. And, uh, and, uh, you know, but they, uh, they are really great, great tools for the toolbox. I, uh, particularly love the looks of all the Brettas I got. I love how they send. And, uh, I haven't had any, any issues knock on the wood here, uh, with, 
with any of the Bretas that I we own in our toolbox and stuff. So, but yeah, just uh, finally do something that uh, <laughs> never, you know, I don't know how that short did good. I never did a real video on this. And so I figured I might as well pop it off and stuff. So again, 84 FS. This is a USA model here. I don't know if the camera's focusing. Oh, this one's in Italy. But then this side says, read manual, Breda USA Corp. Yeah, I thought this was a freaking Italy. I was looking at this before. So yeah, patent Beretta USA Corp. Uh, A-C-K-K-M-D, -C -C Maryland. But yeah, this is Italy, man. Made in, made in Italy. But got the wrong facts. Don't listen to this hubbub. <laughs> but yeah, no. Beautiful, beautiful tool. Hopefully we never need them. And, uh, you know, if we do, our, uh, our rounds are blessed to send the savages to Funky Town, as our President T. Electric, you know, would say, you know. So keep our, uh, keep our family in, uh, safe at all costs, and hopefully we never need to use our tools other than making steel talk or paper, punching holes in paper and stuff, you know. But the uh, world's a little crazy. Keep our heads, uh, keep your heads on a six. And uh, on a swivel and watch your six, man. So, but uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Hope the day's going good and uh, you enjoyed a little bit of you know, act looking at a beautiful Bretta. And unfortunately, the moron behind the camera was talking a lot when I should have just been showing the beautiful art. Uh, but yeah, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, you guys have a great day. And uh, see you on the flip. All right. Nice day out today. Supposed to get real crappy weather. 84 FS Cheetah. Ugh. Shoot my freaking hand off here. Dumbass. First round steely, rest is brass. And uh, we're just gonna take our time. See if I can hit it. You count the steps out. shooting no excuse great running gun beautiful gun love it 84 SF FS cheetah good gun thanks for watching guys be safe keep your head on a six on the swivel man watch your six and uh yeah stay safe everybody thank you